Both Krita and Clip Studio Paint are animating and painting programs. From pricing to tools, there are many differences. The video takes an in-depth look and explores Krita vs Clip Studio Paint. So what are both? Krita is a painting and designing software allowing the creation of images and 2D animations. Clip Studio Paint is also for animations but with 2D animation, it has the basic 3D animation options. Talking about the platforms, you find both on desktop PCs and mobile phones. Clip Studio Paint is also available on iPad, Chromebook and on Samsung Galaxy Store. The interface of both is challenging to understand. If you are familiar with tools like Photoshop, learning both won't be hard. Overall, I feel Krita is a bit easier to navigate and use. Both programs have workspaces to make editing easier. Workspaces are basically to show the required panels only. For example, if you are painting, you only find tools for painting on the interface. Krita has more workspaces than Clip Studio Paint. Let's talk about the tools both support. If you find an option in one software, you will most likely find the same in the other program. In both tools, you find brushes, shapes, gradients, text, masking and animation options. However, I must mention that Clip Studio Paint Pro is limited in some ways. For example, you can create a maximum of 24 frame animations, which is not a lot. The tool also offers to download additional content. The total size of the material is about 2.4 GB and the material contains shapes, images and other content to use in your project. Other websites also offer free and premium brushes and elements to use in projects. Krita on its own does not offer downloadable content, but many third-party websites offer to download brushes and stuff. Let's talk about the pre-made templates. Krita has many pre-built templates. You can quickly create an animation, comic, design, DSLR and texture size documents. You can also create a custom document from the clipboard. Clip Studio Paint does not come with templates. It has some quick presets to adjust the document size. These include illustration, webtoon, comics, animation and more. You can also create a custom size document and specify the values yourself. Both offer filters to take your designs to the next level. Some of the popular Krita filters are displayed on the screen right now. And here are the Clip Studio Paint filters. So overall, it's clear that Krita offers more filters. Before we go to the pricing, we must talk about the exporting options. Both support exporting files in PNG, PSD, GIF, MP4, AVI and JPEG formats. Overall, I like the exporting menu of Clip Studio Paint because first, it has the categorized exporting formats, while you have to choose one from the list in Krita. Second, both support video formats, but in Krita, you must specify the FFmpeg library path which is a bit time consuming. Krita is open source and completely free. Clip Studio Paint in contrast is a paid tool, excluding on the iPhone. It offers both monthly and one-time payment options. With the monthly subscription, you can use the software on one platform at a time. The one-time payment plan is platform specific. For example, the Windows and Mac OS versions come in the same plan, whereas the Android app offers a separate plan. The good thing is that on all devices, it offers at least 30 days of free trial. And as it's premium, it also offers 10 gigabytes of cloud storage to save projects online. So which one do you need? Krita is a great platform and if you want to create 2D animations and paintings on a desktop, Krita is all you need. Clip Studio Paint is a paid program and if you have some money lying around, you should give it a go. Anyway, this is where we are part. Thanks for watching the video. I hope it helped you choose the best software for your projects. Please click on the like button if the video helped. I will see you in another video. Until then, take care.